Now then, how do? It's David Hoyle. Thanks for tuning in for a bit more Yorkshire Brass. Then welcome to a bit more Yorkshire Brass with me, David Hoyle. This week's programme started with the Yorkshire Imperial Band, playing the music of Marc-Antoine Charpentier. It dates way back to 1692. Many of you will associate that music with the Eurovision Song Contest. Yes, the annual Marmite Music Fest. Personally, I love it for the banter that it creates, but I know that lots of you don't like it. And uh, you don't really understand why the United Kingdom never send the best artists for the competition. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because it would be embarrassing for a top, top million selling artist to receive a total of six points. And those points probably would be the ones that Ireland give us every year. I'm saying no more. That piece of music absolutely suits the power and passion of a brass band perfectly. And I'm told that the correct pronunciation of the title of the piece of music is Te Deum. But I know I've always been brought up saying Te Deum. <laughs> First match of the week coming up now. Uh, this is underplayed for sure. Kevin in Hull has rightly pointed this out in his email and he says, Oily, I'd love to hear Kenneth Alford's Old Panama. Kevin, our pleasure. The Grimethorpe Colliery Band are doing the honours here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Panama by Kenneth Alford was played there for Kevin in Hull by the Grimethorpe Colliery Band. From the first march of the week, we go to the first solo and we're staying with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band and an old classic piece recorded by a young Richard Marshall. This was one of the fine works of the American composer Herbert L. Clark and it's one of those pieces of music that you can only listen to and admire. The Debutant.
The Debutant by Herbert L. Clark. The L, by the way, stands for Lincoln, just to let you know. Richard Marshall was playing there and the Grimethorpe Colliery Band with the accompaniment. David Hoyle with you with a bit more Yorkshire brass and uh, Mary is asking if we can play something for her, which I myself am involved in playing on. That's very kind of you to ask, Mary. And um, I found some details back to 2017 on this one and the 40th anniversary concert of the floral dance this was in Huddersfield Town Hall I was honoured to be asked to join the mass bands of Brickhouse and Rastrick and the band members who played in the floral dance recording 40 years earlier in the second half of that performance I was asked to represent the members of the band who sadly were no longer with us or couldn't actually play on the day Derek Broadbent is conducting on this recording of one of his own arrangements, African Waltz. <laughs>
African Waltz, played there by the Brighouse and Rastrick Band, along with members of the 1977 Brighouse and Rastrick Band at the Floral Dance Concert, the 40th anniversary concert that was recorded in Huddersfield Town Hall back in 2017. I was playing along with the bands on that recording. Mary, thank you very much indeed for that request. I hope you enjoyed it, and particularly the last chord, which is very, very unusual. You can make a request for any future programme by joining the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. We'd love to hear from you. Next up, we're off to the theatre and a show which first appeared in the West End in 1960. Lionel Bart won all sorts of awards for this and the Redbridge Band are playing here to remind us just how good the music from this show was. Do enjoy Oliver. <laughs>
Lionel Bart's Oliver was played there by the Redbridge Band. I'm always amused by the banter on social media, particularly when it comes to percussionists. Kerry says many percussionists have a great sense of humour, but a number haven't. Please, can you play this piece of music, Oily, for all the miserable sods out there who fall into the latter category? How dare you? I will play it because I absolutely love this particular piece. Roy Newsom made this arrangement of the Sandpaper Ballet and it's played here by the IMI Yorkshire Imperial Band. <laughs> The Sandpaper Ballet by Leroy Anderson. It was arranged for brass band by Roy Newsom and the IMI Yorkshire Imperial Band were playing there. James Scott was conducting. We're now going to take a trip back to 1936 and a composition by Louis Prima, which always goes down well in a brass band concert. It's an audience pleaser. It was first recorded by Prima and the New Orleans Gang. And our version today is by the Carlton Main Frickly Colliery Band, conducted by John Hinckley. Please do enjoy Sing, Sing, Sing. Thank you. 
Carlton Main Frickly Colliery Band playing Sing 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 by Louis Prima. Next up, a lovely piece of music requested by Pete and Joe in Dalton in Huddersfield. Many of us have been spending lots of time in our gardens recently. Well, we've had nothing else to do, really. This is from the BBC TV series Ground Force. The music is by Jim Parker, played by the Black Dyke Mills Band, conducted by James Watson. It portrays the subject perfectly. The Lament of the Dandelion. The Lament of the Dandelion by Jim Parker. The Black Dyke Mills Band were playing there for Pete and Joe in Dalton. James Watson was conducting. What a popular CD that is. Almost halfway through this week's show. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? It certainly does. Pauline Mexborough wants to hear something by Queen played by a brass band. I'll leave the choice to you, Oily. Well... A number of choices I could make, but I'm going to go for a montage. The Whitburn Band are playing here. Steve Sykes made this arrangement, and Andrew Duncan is conducting the band. Pauline Mexborough, please do enjoy Queen Rules.
about that then for a montage of all things Queen from the Whitburn band Queen rules let's move on now with the second part of this week's program the Black Dyke band get us going with a terrific piece from Paul Lovett Cooper home of legends Thank you. 
excellent music. Home of Legends by Paul Lovett Cooper. Professor Nicholas Childs was conducting the Black Dyke Band on that recording. Now to our second march of this week's programme, and it's a very popular Whit Friday march. Chris in Newark, hello to you. Thanks very much for the request. You'd like to hear William German's march, The President. The Sellers Engineering Band are playing here. <laughs> The Sellers Engineering Band playing William German's March the President. Thanks to Chris in Newark for that request. If you would like to make a request, please do join our Facebook group, Yorkshire Brass. You'll see my picture on the front of the group and we'd be pleased to take your request. 
Next solo of the week is probably the most requested piece in the history of the show. It's a flugelhorn classic which was popular even before the film Brassed Off. This is for David Haig in Slawit. Hello to you, David. The Grimethorpe Colliery Band are accompanying the soloist Mark Walters as he performs Rodrigo's Concerto de Aranjuez.
Rodrigo's Concerto Aranjue. Known to the masses in the brass banding world, of course, as Orange Juice. It's lovely, isn't it? Thanks to David Hagen Slowit for that request. Now, David's wife Susan came up with a question which has been the topic of conversation over many, many years and still to this day provokes debate in the valley where I live anyway. Turnip or Swede? Aye, that old potato. Well, here's my take. When I was a lad, there wasn't such a thing as a Swede. We had turnips and they were either tasty or woody. We used to call it baterni when we were kids. I don't know why, but we did. Anyway, nowadays, it seems that a Swede is what we call a turnip, and a turnip is no bigger than a tangerine. The mind boggles, really. Leave stuff as they are. How dare you? Radio's got me through for years, says Robert in Sherburne. I'm a big fan of the Archers. I love brass band music, too, and the two go nicely together in the piece. Barrick Green... That's the theme tune, of course, and I wondered if you'd play it for me. The Brickhouse and Rastrick Band would be fine. Well, we're going to do just that, Robert. Thank you very much indeed for listening to a bit more Yorkshire Brass. Here's Barrett Green. Barrick Green, the theme music to The Archers, was written way back in 1924 by Arthur Wood, the Yorkshire composer, and named after Barrick in Elmet. We're off to Scotland now. We're allowed to on this programme. Ian was born there, but he now lives in York. He can't go home to see his family at the moment. So he said, any chance I can have a bit of Scottish music early? I'd like to hear the Wee Magriga by H.G. Amos, a lovely piece of music which reminds me of my place of birth. Absolutely. Played here by the Kirk and Tillock Band. Thank you. 
the Kirk and Tillock band were playing the Wee McGregor by H.G. Amos. That was for Ian, a Scot who now lives in York. What a grand piece of music too. Next up, we're off to Huddersfield to Neil and Ali, who live in Crossland Hill. Uh, there are a number of recordings of this piece of music, but for me, this is the best of them. Neil and Ali have chosen Pastime with Good Company, and this arrangement of Henry VIII's music is by Stephen Roberts. It's played by the Yorkshire Imperial Band. Yorkshire Imperial Band with Pastime with Good Company, playing that for Neil and Ali in Huddersfield. Thanks for the request. On to our final solo spot of the week, and this is a wonderful classical duet. Mavis in Shelf has requested this Bizet number for her birthday. Have a great day, Flower. Hope you have a good one. The Black Dyke Band are accompanying the duettists David Thornton and John French as they play the lovely Deep Inside the Sacred Temple.
is some piece of music deep inside the sacred temple by Bizet, David Thornton and John French duetting there and accompanied by the Black Dyke Band conducted by Dr Nicholas Childs. Next up, Ray and Margaret are in Wombwell. We've been enjoying reading and hearing about your cooking exploits, Oily. What's it been this week, then? Well, it's been Cornish pasty sliced. And to be honest, I was happy with my first attempt. The second will be better. There won't be quite as much filling involved in it. But it was all served with homemade pastry and gravy and a portion of fat as each. Yes, and work they did as well, I'll tell you. No request for Ray and Margaret as such. They like anything a bit different. Well, you'll like this one then. It's been requested actually by one of our younger listeners, Stevie from Huddersfield. This is a composition by Daryl Barry. It's performed by James Shepherd Versatile Brass. Thanks for the request, Stevie. All the best to Ray and Margaret. Here's Rockata. <laughs>
Rockata by Daryl Barry, played there by James Shepard, Versatile Brass. Now it's test piece time. I'm really not sure why, but there have been a number of requests this week for this piece. Nothing wrong with the piece. It's lovely. Mary and David were in first, but then a number of you quickly followed. If you have requested this, thank you very much indeed. We're going back to 1928 and a composition by Thomas Keithley. The Cory Band play an old classic, Lorenzo.
the Corey Band and this week's test piece, Lorenzo by Thomas Keithway. Thanks to those of you who made the request for that piece. On to the hymn tune and the penultimate piece of music in this week's programme. Keith in Sheffield asks, For mine eyes have seen the glory from the Salvation Army CD with the red cover. It's good is this. The Bristol Eastern Band of the Salvation Army Band are playing here, Keith. <laughs> have seen the glory the battle hymn of the republic the bristol eastern band of the salvation army were playing there and that my friends is just about it for another week's a bit more yorkshire brass i'll be joining with you again very soon my name's david hoyle thanks for tuning in and do keep those requests coming in via the yorkshire brass facebook group today's finale is a stunner there is no other way I can describe it. It features the Black Dyke Mills Band and an exquisite performance, particularly from Kevin Crockford, who goes over and above on this recording, which has been chosen by Nigel in Home Firth. Stay safe, everyone. See you all very soon. And we finish this week's programme with Camille Sanson's finale to the Organ Symphony number no. three. Ta ra!